Okay, can everybody hear me? I want to explain something to you now. <laughs> One stock does not move the market. When there's momentum going in a certain direction with the market, whether it's up or down, and you have a heavy hitter or something that affects the market that a lot of people watch and trade and like Google, Amazon, Apple, Boeing, when you have the market momentum into a certain direction and then you have one of those big players that does something significant, which is always in a gap, okay, whether up or down, and the, and, and the driver's already behind it, then that's when it goes. And you say, oh, the market rallied because of Google. If the momentum for the market is really to the upside, then Google will lift the market today and the SPY will go back up to an uptrend. That could happen today. I do not believe that that's going to happen. But what I'm saying is that one stock does not control the entire market, just so you know that. It, sometimes it seems like it does, but it doesn't. It's a catalyst to move the market in the direction it wants to go anyways. Does this make sense, what I'm saying? Does everyone understand me? So if in fact, now just listen to me, if in fact, if in fact the momentum and the, and the market does not want to run and go and go back up to the highs, then if Google falls on the earnings, or Microsoft, or Apple, or Amazon this week, the market's gonna sell off because it wants to do that anyways, and it's waiting to do it. Does that make sense? And here's how I think this week plays out. I think the market falls today, I think Google falls today, I don't think anything very significant happens today either way. I think Boeing falls today after the call or doesn't really rally, or even if everything rallies, I don't think it turns the market around, and I think Amazon is gonna be the surprise earning this week which is late in the week, in the very last day of the week, for some of the options that were on from last week, I believe that Amazon is going to be a surprise. I believe that there's a huge possibility that Amazon gaps down and the market falls the very last day of the week. And Thursday, when more unemployment numbers come out, the market won't really have a, 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 that much of a reaction in anticipation of waiting for Apple and Amazon out that night. And I think it's gonna be Amazon. That's just, this is not based on anything. This is just me full-on reading price and intuition i think amazon after now google reported is going to be the one that is down surprises everything pushes the market lower because the momentum is going there anyways and that's how i think the week plays out but it will be the very last day of the week but we could sell off and that will be actually guess what it will be may 1st friday is may 1st and i said that i believe that we're going to have a bearish month in may so that's that's where I think it's gonna, that's, that's, that's how I think it's gonna set up. I don't know that yet, but I'm gonna be very, very careful because we're just not seeing the follow through. We're not seeing the follow through in longs. We're not seeing the follow through in shorts. I'm talking about in the options. For the day trades, we've done great this week and I will do great today. We may not trade today. If I do, I may take a late trade. If I'm aggressive here in the morning, I can't tell you what I'm gonna do, so it won't be easy to follow me today. This is one of these days where there's too many things to look at and nothing's clear. We're just gonna see how everything acts. This is a little spready. Let's just watch this. It's like a zoom. Zoom may just go right to the target without even setting up. Wow, this zoom is spready. Look at that. We'll go back to that. Okay, A cam. So this is spready too. <clears throat> this is very spready. Okay, stop and A cam is going to be wide. 98.90. And I am giving you both numbers here just so you know. Let's do. Let's just wait for the confirmation here. Oh crap, it's going. No, I didn't even get it in. I didn't even get to give you the numbers it's going. You could short it here if you want, 97.50. I did not get it. All right, I guess I'm not gonna be aggressive today. All right, let's just wait. I didn't get that. 98.90.
let's do, let's do 30 by 90. Th here, here, take it. Just get it. A, a can, just get in it and make sure to stop in at 90. You got to give it that much room. Here it's going. Here. Wait, I, the spread is just crazy, crazy wide. And it hit, and just, just make sure you size yourself right. This is very important. Targets 97, 96, 95. Assume we get down to 95. Let's make sure we gave this enough room. In fact, let's put it over 99. Put it at 99.20. I'm giving this more room just because the spread is so wide. 99.20 is the stop in this if you're in it. We'll see if it continues down. Target again is right in here. Snug as a bug. And this shouldn't lift over the high anyways. And it definitely shouldn't lift over the whole number. This is very spready. It's been a long time since we've traded this. All right, ACAM. If you're in it, you're in it. And if you're not in it, you can do it here. So again, just to be safe, I decided to put it over 99. 99.20 is the stop in this. And Oliver, I know you're new, so you should just be watching. But if you did not do this, this is you could do this here. It's right around 97.50, 97.60. You're just going to get filled whatever you get filled in here. This is very spready. It's going from 30 cents to 50 cents to 60 cents. I almost can't look off this. But I want to... If Google breaks the low here, it's all the way down. Wow, it's it's just very, very interesting. But this didn't swoosh. So that 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 possibility is gone. You know what I'm saying? All right, here we are. A cam through 97. Here we go. This is here. We got it. Here we got it. We got it. We got it. Unfortunately, this was extremely spready. Nothing I can do about that. At least we're getting a play in here. Let's see if we get it down to 96. And then our day is over. And then we'll talk about the market. And we'll talk about Google. And we'll talk about everything. And here it goes. Yay. Sometimes you just can't argue. You're like, oh, crap, I missed it. And you're like, well, if I don't do it now, it's going to go. And so look at that spread. Eek, eek, 62 cents. We almost kind of have to get out here while this is moving down because the spread is so crappy. 95. One more push in this. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Yes, here it is. Beautiful. Out, out. I'm taking it out here because I'm telling you it's too spready and it's going to bounce back. You'll lose like 70 cents. You can hold it down if you want, but this is not acting normal. Here it goes. It's right at 95. Here. Wow, just broke 95. Is anybody still in it? Just make sure you get a good exit on this. Look at, this is just so, it's, I don't understand this spread. It's been, this is not normal for this. Here, wow, look at that. It's going to 94. Great trade, but look at that spread. <laughs> just make sure you get a good exit on this, or fill, I should say, for when you get out. Here, if you didn't get out, I would get out of this here, people. Whoo, yay. <laughs> yay, da, 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 da. we did it again. And these were impossible conditions today. Impossible. Completely impossible. But remember what I said, you're never gonna get out the low, you're never gonna get out the high, so don't worry about it. Who knows, maybe this will set up again. This could even go to 90, not gonna happen. Let's take a look at the market. Let's take a look at Google. You're welcome. Jackie said thank you. Nice trade. Let's take a look at this puppy. Uh, UPS was a snail and 